Hey everyone, it's a Crafty Chris Sherry back from an episode, another episode. I believe this is 69. Um, it is 9.21 p.m. This is my third attempt at recording this video. So I hope it's going to work. Like I said, it's 9.21 p.m. here. It is on the 7th of April, 2018. And this is might be a short episode. Um, I have a lot of works in progress, several finished objects, and I think that's it. And then once I do my regular episode, I think I'm going to do a crochet with me. So, another crochet with me. Because I really, really do like those. Um, I want to say before I get started, I want to say a huge thank you. To my 276 subscribers, I have it written down. 276 subscribers. I want to say hello to the new ones, hello to the old ones, and I cannot believe 276 people have subscribed to my channel. You guys are the reason why I do this because if you watch my previous videos, you know that nobody in my family crochets. So it's nice that I'm a part of a yarn community because even though I don't know you personally, I still consider you guys my friends. So, so yeah. So let's get started. Um, I am really sore today. I fell down my steps yesterday and landed on my backside and I have a big black and blue mark the size of a baseball on my behind and it is very sore. My back's sore so so I'm a little sore. So um since I have knitting also this week so I'm just gonna show you what I have knitting wise real quick. Um so this is a beanie. I am doing sorry I am doing with a lot of cat hair and my hair mixed in with it. I am doing three rows of knit, two rows of purl. And I'm just continuing that. So. And this is Red Heart Super Saver in the color Wildflower. I have this much left, so I'm hoping that I have enough to finish the cat. I also have this hat, and again, I'm not following a pattern, I just kind of made these up as I'm going. And this hat, I am doing one row of knit, one row of purl, then one row of knit, one row of purl, and repeating. So I don't know if that's like the garter stitch or not, but I really like the texture of it. So. It's because I really do like this. And I like how the colors are pulling. So that's pretty cool. And this is Red Heart with Love in the Lemon Drop colorway. So I have that one going as well. And I just pick my knitting up whenever I need a break from crocheting. Which I went to my choir factor yesterday because of me falling. And he, I told him that I was having pain in my elbow, and he checked, and my wrist was out of black. So, so I got that all fixed. I'm able to crochet longer now. I do have, oh, I do have a lot of whips. I have, I just started this hat. It is on my loom, and I only did like. Two, not even two rows of ribbing. I think I'm, yeah, I did two rows of ribbing. And I think I do ten rows of ribbing. <laughs> and it is in the Pixie Bloom colorway. So I work on this too whenever my arms and my wrists need a break. So, so yeah, it's all tangled up. I use, um, pen. Like the ends of pens for my things. I have like... I bought these and the pens don't write very well, so I took the end of the pen off and used it and it works really, really nice. 
now we go into crocheting whips. So I have this corner to corner blanket that I am working on. It's going to be a lap gown, of course, for my nursing homes. So I just did five colors or five rows of the color, two rows of white, five rows of color, two rows of white to kind of keep it uniform because if you know me and you watch my videos, you know that I like things that kind of have that are symmetrical, I guess. So I have to add one row of white, then start doing decreases on one side. So, and I have my big bag of yarn over here, and of course I don't have white in it, so I kind of work on this. I bet my butt is very sore. I apologize. I hope I don't get tagged or something. So this is a blanket and it is going to go this way. And I'm using up as much yarn as I possibly can. Pretty much I grab a skein, however many rows I can make out of that is how many rows I'm doing. Like the pink I did four rows and I think the green I did four rows no five rows one two three four five yeah I did five rows of the green four rows of pink I am on this color it I think it's blue but it looks purple but so yeah so and this is one of fiber flexes this is what I'm gonna work on in the crochet with me um it is the if I remember let me let me write down links and I underlined it twice but that is the um I watched her do a video on it I will link that in the description box I also started another blanket but it's going to be a square um so, it is the V square or something, but it's made with a bunch of V's. And I'm just going to do like three colors and just do that kind of like, I do this, but just do three rows of the color and, and just change every, just change color every three rows, I guess. So that one, I just started this like the other night, so I'm not going to work on that one for a while. So I get these other two blankets done because they've been sitting waiting to get done and I moved on to other things. Um, I lied, I did have white in that bag, I guess I need to look a little bit more. So now, we are going to get into finished objects and um so like I was telling you in my last couple videos so I went to my mom's on Tuesday and came home one no I didn't do that so I didn't go to my mom's this week because I wasn't feeling well and then yesterday I fell so I didn't go to my mom's I will go back up there on Wednesday but last week, I went up to my mom's and I only brought one project up with me because I went up there on Sunday night, which was Easter, and we went, me and my mom went to Michael's on Monday. And I was only going to be up there for one night, so I'm like, okay, I'm just going to take one project. And I ended up taking a Namagrumi, and I got so bored up with that that I had to go to Walmart and get more yarn. So I went to Walmart. And I got a lot of variegated yarn and some, um, and some mainstay yarn. As you can see in my yarn haul. Well, I made this hat, but this hat is humongous. Okay. I have been dabbing my toe, I guess I want to say, with starting my hats. Because usually I would do the 12 double crochet. Then, you know, increase to 24, then increase to 36, and so on. But lately, I've been dabbling 
to make bigger different size hats. So some I do 13 double crochet, some I do 14 double crochet, some I even do 15 double crochet if it's in a man's color. So one skein of Red Heart in the Variegated, this is great fizz and holy hair. So one skein, I was able to get three hats. So there's this little one. And I really do need to figure out something that I can. Randy from Randy's Rambling, no, Random Randy's Ramblings said to get a balloon and blow it up that it would fit these. I'm seriously thinking about that because um, you guys don't get to really see the hats very well when I put them on my fists. So I, I was able to get three hats out of one skein. And then I talked about this in my crochet with me. It is a kid hat. I okay. So what happened with this? This was a loom knit hat, and I did it on. I can't remember if it was a purple or the gray loom. And yes, that was my ankle cracking. I apologize if that grossed anybody out. But my ankles do hurt a lot when I can't when I don't crack them. So, so I made this hat, and it's a definitely a kid's hat because look, doesn't even fit me. So anyway, I did the decreases from Luma hat, but I don't like the bunching at the top, and I finished it way too quickly. I finished off way too quickly. I should have did. Probably another three inches before I decrease to the crown. So that is going in the kid bin. Hopefully somebody can fit it. Then, just today, I finally finished my granny hexagon blanket. This thing is humongous. Told you it was humongous. So I finally finished it. The blue, I think, is I've been lying to you all this time. It is robin egg. It is not teal. It is robin egg. My apologies. And that did not help my back any. <laughs> and the variegated is called Gardens, Garden Grows, or Gardens Grow. Something along those. I just finished this today, and I was trying to take a picture of it. But my cats was like, no, mom, we want to be in this picture too. So I took a picture of them with the blanket. I also finished the baby, baby yarn wrap. And it just goes around somebody like this. Very comfortable, very, very soft. It'll be nice for, a, a nice for somebody to warm up with it. And this is in the double crochet lace. I just chained X amount of stitches. And then, you know, did the pattern and continued with it. So, it is humongous. This is it folded in half. Let me see if I can. That's it folded in half. I don't even know if I'm on the screen. But I finally finished it. It'll go to one of the nursing homes. And, speaking of nursing homes, so I've been on the hunt. Um, I like doing blankets, and I like doing shawls and stuff. But I wanted something else that I could give nursing homes. So I got on my Facebook and got into my crochet groups, and I asked them, I'm like, what else can I make nursing homes in other than blankets and shawls? And several people gave me some amazing feedback, like fingerless mitts, um, wheelchair or walker caddies, or um, stuffed animals, you know, cactus, like fake cact crocheted cactus plants. Um, bouquets, you know, just small things that you don't really think about 
until somebody actually says them. And I don't want to do booties because then I have to get like non-slip stuff and I understand that. So what I did was I made a walker caddy. Now, oh, oh my god, that hurts so bad. Now this is just an example, but I made two straps, and they're gonna go like this, but they're gonna be evenly. This is a Tunisian crochet hook that I got at Walmart that I do not like, but I made it, and that's not gonna work. There's three pockets. There's a big one. There's a little one here, a little one here, and then a bigger one over here. So I plan on making a lot of these and the back looks freaking awesome the way it pulled. If I say so myself. Look at that pulling. Look at that patterning I guess I should say. Isn't it cool? So I made one of them and my mom a while ago, like back before Christmas, bought me these wooden buttons that came in a pack and I just think these colors kind of match. So I finished the walker caddy. Definitely, definitely going to make more of those. And that is it. That is all of my finished objects. That is all of my lips. Um. So that is it for this video. I am going to do a crochet with me video while this one is uploading. And that one's probably going to be about, eh, it's early, maybe 20, 25 minutes maybe. So I will talk to you guys all next week. Have a great week, week, weekend, whatever it is in your area. Have a great week. Bye.